particular point, your personal mathematics coach. Now behind me is a trigonometric function. We have to prove that cotangent x plus tangent x is equal to secant x times cosecant x. Now how do we do it? In all mathematic proofs, in trigonometry that is, we want to start with a complicated side, just one side, and show that it equals the other. We're going to do that in this problem. Cotangent x plus tangent x can be rewritten. This is 1 over tangent x plus tangent x. Now this is a fraction. In order to add fractions, you must have common denominators. So this tangent x is the equivalent to tangent x over 1. So we have a common denominator of tangent x. So we want to make this denominator to also have tangent x. So this becomes 1 over tangent x plus tangent squared x over tangent x. We now can combine the fractions over one denominator. This becomes 1 plus tangent squared x divided by tangent x. Now the good thing about the numerator is that this now is a trigonometric identity. Do you remember what it is? 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x over tangent x. Now remember, we're trying to prove the right side of the equation. And the right side of the equation has secant x times cosecant x. So this is what we can do. We can break this apart as secant x times secant x times 1 over tangent x. Now you're going to watch something cool. We simplify this to be secant x times secant x. This now, 1 over tangent x, is the equivalent to the reciprocal of tangent x, and that becomes cosine x over sine x. Now, watch this. Secant x times another secant x, what we can write as 1 over cosine x, times cosine x divided by sine of x. These cosine x cancel out. This becomes secant x times 1 over sine x, which gives us, ta-da, secant x times 1 over sine x, as our trigonometric identity shows, to be cosecant x. So we can see that the left side of the equation eventually equaled the right side of the equation.